This is Teresa, and she's here, and we're doing crafty stuff together, and we're getting ready for the Mariposa Festival, and she has brought some fun stuff to try. We're doing some testing with some different materials, and where's the, um, you brought some aloe today. So lucky for me, she has an aloe plant, and so we're going to try using, here she's put up down a patch of golden uh, fabric, golden fabric medium and uh, we're going to test painting on it and then we're also going to um, test painting with it and then we're going to test painting with this because we're going to put it in different spots and then we're going to see um, what works and what doesn't. We're trying to find the lowest possible price um, way to uh, paint on fabric and still have it stay you know um, and not be stiff because this is a little stiff. This is pure acrylic, just the regular um, crafting acrylic. Um, and uh, so we're just comparing, doing a lot of comparisons. Yeah, great. Okay. So we're just uh, prepping the aloe vera. Um, we don't know how to do it. So we're just basically, we sliced the leaf in half and then we opened it up and we're just taking out the inside. And it's pretty easy. You just, uh, so I'll show you what we did. So we just cut it down the center and then we're sticking our hands in and um, extracting it that way. Well, of course, now I'm at the tip where there's not too much to pull out, but you get the idea. And it's extremely slimy. Now, I think I was expecting something a little less um, cohesive. I wanted something that was more um, uh, just um, liquid or, or gel that would fall apart. But I think maybe, you know, the other thing we would do is possibly blend this up to make it more, more liquidy. But for right now, this is what we're going to go with and we're going to add the paint to it, paint with it and see, what, see whether it adheres to the fabric. Good luck. <laughs> okay. okay, thanks. Okay, say that again, Teresa, what we just said. Um. We were talking about aloe vera and possible other things ah, we could possible use. Possible like cactus. And they use cactus they art. Use the insides of cactus they use yeah. for paint. The, yeah, they used to do the, the um, because the cactus has a lot of veins. Like a, uh huh. Like a, a lot of veins, and they holds it, and they scrape everything out of the cactus. And they use that in paint they making. They do art, and they they use it. The, uh, inside I, the cactus, cool. The and I know they use the quills as paintbrushes. Exactly. American exactly. Indian art. Yeah, nice. Like Indian, um, yeah, like fun. Yeah. So a few observations. After putting the sharpie down, I layered some golden on top of it, and the sharpie bled. I was thinking that if I let the Sharpie sit for 24 hours, it might react differently. So that's something I'm going to set up for next time. And here, these are aloe vera and Craft Smart acrylics. Craft Smart is like the 50 cents a bottle on sale at Michael's. Um, and so if we can get aloe vera plant to work with Craft Smart, then that's kind of a really cool thing. Uh, but we don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Maybe it's kind of a pipe dream. So here we have a layer of golden and a layer of tempura. I did not wait for the golden to dry before I put the tempura on. And so I think I'm seeing a little bit of bleeding happening, so that's kind of to be expected. But maybe I'll do another area over here where I wait. And then um, I'll do another section down here where it's a golden tempura mix. Okay, this is an experiment I started a while ago, and if I can find mm -hmm. the video that I took when I was laying it down, I will include that at the beginning of this, and then this is reiterative. But what I was trying to do is try out a whole bunch of different kinds of um, paints, um, fabric medium, and other things. So I'm just going to call it out, and this is for documentation purposes, because after I wash this, and I'm going to wash it tonight, after I wash this, I want to know um, what uh, was where, and although I've written it in, if it's no longer there, it won't be able to be seen. So, Crayola fabric markers, 
these are little dabs of paints that I had. This is graffiti markers, Crayola fabric markers, tulip markers, Marvy markers. These are darbers. They were not actually meant for fabric. Crayola fabric markers. Fabric markers. It doesn't say what kind. Graffiti. Tulip. Craft Smart. Oh, this. This is Craft Smart, not fabric markers. Just little bits, and it's a little bit stiff, but not horrible. Tulip markers. Marvy fabric markers. Tulip fabric markers. Graffiti. Um, and let's see what else we have on here. Did a couple of other experiments. This is a golden, golden fabric medium with Sharpie, another layer of golden, and an iron. Um, and I didn't wait before putting the Sharpie on top of the golden. That's why you have all the bleeding. Uh, here's Sharpie, no finish, iron only, tumble. Sharpie with baby wipes. Mm. Can't remember what I did with baby wipes. Hopefully I find that. Sharpie with golden layer down first. Obviously dried. So that looks pretty good. And then more Sharpie to color it in probably. And then iron with temple. Aloe vera and Craft Smart acrylics. Texture is a little stiffer. Sort of like when you have... Um, uh, silk screening, but it is uh, so you can see that I can actually hold the dot here, um, but uh, not horrible. And then here we have golden tempera mix, golden wait 24 hours sharpie. I haven't put it put down the sharpie. I'm not going to bother. Golden. Weight 24, then tempera. Weight 24, then golden. Golden, then tempera. Then weight 24, then golden. So obviously that's smudged. So you want to dry the fabric medium, else you will get some smudging. Let the fabric medium dry if you put it down as a base. Okay, so now we are two or three washings behind us, and I just wanted to point out what's lasted and what hasn't. Um, Crayola fabric markers, nice color still. These were non-fabric paints, but they were little sponge things that were used for stamping, and I had just stamped little dots on them, and they held up pretty decently. Of course, the the shirt itself has um, has some wear now. Um, Marvy, still looking good. Uh, Tulip, still good. Little bit of fading, but they're all graffiti. Has always been a little bit on the light side. This is the graffiti. Um, oh right, those are the dogs. Oh hello. Okay, Marvy. The Marvy held up really nicely. Um, graffiti. These, I wanted to point out these little dots. Now these are the Craft Acrylic. And, and this is the back. Aloe Vera and Craft Smart Acrylics. Nice, soft, not too bad at all. Um, Sharpie, golden layer first. Um, that came out pretty nice, and the Sharpies didn't bleed too much. This looks like there was a little bit of over, um, over bleeding, but not too badly. This is nice. This, this Sharpie, no finish, iron 
only tumble. Hmm, why did that not bleed? That's interesting. Um, so, what's the verdict? Well, Sharpies bleed sometimes. And the golden kind of leaves a little bit of a stain when you apply it on moss. I really didn't like that. I think it's meant to be mixed with the paint of whatever sort of paint you have. Um, the aloe vera I liked and that is the low cost um, alternative but all the fabric markers seemed to work. Let's see what was best. Um, generally I probably wouldn't choose Sharpie for um, for fabric unless it's the Sharpie fabric marker because um, of the potential to bleed. What was best? Let's see. Um, the Crayola was nice. Look, that's still, this is three washing, still good. The Marvy, still nice and clear. It was a little light to going on, but the Tulip faded a little bit, but still good. I would say Crayola. Crayola. Graffiti is always a little bit too light for me. Crayola. Then Marvy. And then... Crayola, then Marvy, and then between Tulip and Graffiti, I'm looking. Between Tulip and Graffiti, I would say Graffiti, always that light marker problem. So Crayola, Marvy, Tulip, then Graffiti. That's my preference. There we go.